Well, I was hoping to get this video out yesterday, but obviously uh, Megan wanted to put ours out, so uh, got some pheasants here, uh, nice birds, and all I want to do is breast them out. Now, there's certain methods you can use stepping on the wings and pulling them through, and you can take the bird apart, but what I want to use is the uh, the K bar and just to see how it handles. If it doesn't handle that well, I've always got the trusty Buck 110, which is my favourite knife for this type of work. I wouldn't be without it. Great blade. In fact, I'd love to get my hands on the Cabalas one. I know they do a, a limited edition one. So when you're breasting out pheasants, how, how I want them done, I'm trying to keep the mess to a minimum. I'll just make a couple cuts and then I'd use my fingers just to expose what I need to expose and it's that meat there that I'm interested in and nothing else on the bird. You can see that that will just peel off quite nicely away from the breast. And there you go. We're interested in this part, nothing else on the bird really. So all I'm gonna do is cut here, cut there, and cut around the breast, take them off. And we'll see how we get on using the dozer for that. No problems there with that. Nice fillet there. Lovely. I don't eat a lot of uh, farmed or processed food. I tend to stay clear of it. I eat a lot of wild food like this. Uh, I just think it tastes a lot better. And I know exactly where it's come from. So, and I know, uh, I know it's been well looked after which is quite important to me. The old dozer it just seems to uh, glide through it quite easily. No problems at all, spear point. It's a lovely shaped blade for that. And I would say with this blade, because of the side tail, you just stick it under the tap, give it a good wash in soapy water when you finish with it. So there's one done, that won't go to waste, that's going to be used, uh, a friend of mine wants some of these for some ferrets, so he'll take these away and use them for that. This is a male uh, cock pheasant, uh, these are Kansas crosses, they're quite nice, you can see the lovely blue laterals in there and uh, Kansas crosses will always be a good flying bird and they hold really really well so uh, you can quite easily manage them and they get quite big quite fast nice set of breasts on them and once again I'll just make a little slit try and get in there a little bit make a little slit so I can get in and I'm in there and then all I do pull back you can basically skin the whole pheasant if you wanted to like this using this method And that's what I'm after, the breasts there. And once again, same old cut. You can see on the cock birds, the breasts are a lot, a lot bigger. Lovely, pheasant for tea. Might do it with some black bean sauce or something. Great, lovely stuff.
beautiful. And that one there will also go for a bit of a food for the ferrets. All in all, the dozer itself, I've been finding it's been a really good blade. I've been eating seeing it for a couple of weeks now and uh, really impressed with it. It's been quite a good good blade really. So there you are guys. There's the, uh, the K-Bar dozer. Works well. And uh, I've got to say it's, it's held up quite well. Brilliant. I should just go and wash it off with a bit of soapy water. Go and wash me, uh, me pheasants off and uh, I'll start getting ready for uh, cooking them later. There's probably a video you don't want me, uh, me to do really because uh, I ain't much of a cook. All I'll do is slice them and dice them, put them in a frying pan, fry them off and then add some kind of sauce with them and maybe have a bit of rice with it. Lovely. What else could you ask for? So guys, with that in mind, I'll see you all on the next one.